now we have Tanya. So thank you. And when I felt into my heart, my original question didn't seem to resonate there. So I will ask what is there. And this is something I've had so much wonderful support and assistance with from others as well. And so I'm confused as to why I'm still unable to remain to an inspired place of absolute certainty, peace and heart to take action and move forward on. How do I make a decision of the heart and follow through it? For example, in my current relationship, my heart sings to be around my partner, but when I'm there with others, like his family from a previous relationship or some of his family, I feel a heaviness and the whole situation no longer makes my heart sing. How do I know whether this is right for me when I'm truly in my heart or in fear and to keep trusting my heart and follow through? Even when I have initially cl initial clarity, I can get bumped out, doubt myself, think of others, and worry that they'll be okay. And I feel like for some reason, I can't speak from a place of clarity and certainty. Plus, the more I change my mind back and forth multiple times, the more confused and frustrated and doubtful I feel. I would love to feel certainty in making big decisions and to remain in my heart to enable me to follow through and love them. Thank you so much, Sylvia and Bernard. I'm looking forward to connecting with you. Much festive blessings. Thank you, Tanya. And we are looking forward to, to meet you too. Well, this is kind of a simple question with a tricky answer. <laughs> because you know, it will always come back to the same. Your heart knows instantaneously. But after when you allow your mind to take command, it will always, always, always create confusion. So I will invite you to use some activations that you have to connect to your heart to ask one of these questions. Let's say that we will use the question that your heart sings with your partner, but not when there's others involved. Why not? Why do you allow other people to disrupt the love that you have for your partner? It's because from the mind level, there's things that you don't like. What if you would give yourself with all your heart to yourself first and to your relationship and not allow anyone else to impact this kind of love? This is a conscious choice for you to make first. And after it's always 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 to listen to the heart even though the mind will freak out you breathe you receive from the heart you have this certainty clarity and the pure from the purity of the heart you take action right now the first step you do it and after a couple of times you will know without a doubt that your heart is always true your heart always have the highest answer to live in neutrality always you know i remember when i was um many 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 years ago i was alone with my daughters in I really didn't know how I was to be able to feed them. So if I would have go into my mind, I would have completely freaked out. But I always came back to the heart, knowing, it's a deep knowing, a deep certainty that the universe is always there for us. It speaks to the heart. The mind has its own chat. 
the heart knows the truth. And this truth is true for everyone. So I would put my hands on my heart and just surrender to the universe, knowing that something would happen. And you know what, Tanya? Every day I was able to feed my daughters, even though logically it was not possible. There was always something or someone that would show up with food. But it requires for us to be in total openness, to welcome and embrace pure love from the heart. The heart knows with certainty, the mind will always doubt. So it's easy for you to just see the difference. So to which will you give the command and your power? To the mind that will always doubt or to the heart that will always ring true and give you the highest opportunity for expansion for you, for your family, for your business if you have one, and for humanity. And it, it, it's coming back. Again, I know that I already talked about dancing for you. When you dance, you are connected to your heart. So I will invite you to dance more with fluidity and grace. Connect to your heart and ask questions when you are in this state of being. You receive an answer, you act on it immediately. The doubt comes, thank you mind, but we are moving in another direction now, the direction of the heart, the love, the direction of neutrality. You're welcome to come with us. It will be a different life. So you know you can chat like that, you can speak to the mind so it feels welcome instead of being pushed. It's not, it's not that we have to choose between the mind and the heart, it's instead of the mind showing the way, the mind will assist the heart. So they become friends. So I really, uh, I really um, wish you the best experience of this kind of neutrality from the heart. And um, I can't wait to hear from you, Tanya. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.